hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today I went to our food bank in our area that we can actually go inside and shop they have aisles and rows and food stacked up and there's signs telling you how many you can take based on your color card based on the size in your family etc I might have explained all this once for, but for my new viewers my new subscribers hello <laughs> this food bank um you can shop once a month and based on your family size when you check in um, you get a card and you have to show them your card and then they put scan it and it'll tell them what color your card is our family's color is yellow so because there's three of us my today I actually shot for my family and I shot for Cody's father he's in his own family's household like some of the items if I was able to get two he was only supposed to get one and then there was other items where he got one and the yellow card got one as well anyway so that's how it works and you go in they give you a shopping cart and they have a box and you can put your stuff in it and then you just go down the aisles and shop just like you were shopping in a store if you don't want something you don't take it if you do need extra of an item more than what the card says you could ask one of the volunteers if they have enough of that item so a lot of times they'll say that's fine so like one of the items for example was they had a choice between a Gatorade like a little Gatorade or Diet Pepsi well the Gatorade was full of sugar and Cody's father's diabetic also so I thought we'll just get the Diet Pepsi so it didn't have a number and she said it was one so I put one Diet Pepsi in his cart and one in mine and then she came up to me and she goes you could get a couple extra if you want and I'm like okay so we just got like three or four I can't remember it's been a minute but so stuff like that. Um, I didn't. I didn't ask for more, but but sometimes they'll just tell you you can take more of those because maybe nobody's taking them or for whatever reason they have a ton of them. I don't know, but we like Diet Pepsi. All right. <clears throat> he couldn't go today because he had to work, and by the time he gets off, they will be closed. And there's only today and tomorrow to go. And since I was going, he messaged me last night if I could pick up his groceries, which. I didn't know that I could do that and so I was really glad that I said I'll try you know and see and they said yeah as long as I had his card and his ID I could get his food for him so that was nice so he was able to get his food for the month from there hopefully he likes what I picked out I mean hopefully I don't know anyways I'm gonna chat more but I want to show you guys this food so I can get the cold stuff put away before it starts thawing out so look at all these autumns now these plastic ones are grab bags it's one per family but he told me i could have his bag so for like getting it for him so i'm excited to see what's in the bags you know my time and traveling there even though i was willing to do it for just to be nice but i'll take his grab bag anyways i'm gonna get all this cold stuff loaded on the table as much as i can and we'll show you what we got all right see just right there is a plethora of amazing goodness and blessings. I'm so grateful. And I still have more bags I have to unload. But, oh my gosh, you guys. If you are struggling or need food or are struggling to get enough food, do not hesitate to go to food banks, please, because this food is donated. The majority of it is donated by stores. Some is donated by families who have an abundance, which we're grateful for all, all of it. But the stores donate it because nobody bought it in the store. And if we don't go get it, it just, it will go bad. I mean, this is frozen. So, you know, stuff's good past this date. This is dated July 19th. We're like August, okay? Or almost August now it'll be August by the time you get this video but you know and like this the store can't sell it because somehow it got ripped open but there's nothing wrong with it and it's just sitting there and if people don't go get it then what it's just gonna rot I mean fresh fruit is not gonna stay this is dated um, best if sold by July 27th okay well it's still good past that date they just can't sell it after that so when it's sitting in the store okay we didn't sell it we gotta donate it the food bank gets it. Hopefully people will come in and take it so it can get eaten and consumed and not wasted. So guys, girls, families, everybody, friends, loved ones, all you, all you family and friends, please, I, I'm begging you, do not sit in your home thinking, I don't deserve it. I'm not, I'm not that bad off. I, I'm okay. If you're struggling at all, 
If you're trying to get groceries and thinking, oh my gosh, I guess we're just not going to eat that this month, or oh my gosh, we can't afford it, or we just don't have... Go get this food so it doesn't go to waste, and so it doesn't get rotted. It's just... Get rotted. Is that right? So it doesn't go rot... Oh my gosh. Translate that. Google. Okay. Seriously, I'm not even joking. This is one food bank in my area, but there are food banks everywhere. And yes, some of the food might be bad. You might pick up a box of strawberries and there's a moldy one. Take it out. Throw it away. The rest are so good. Or you open a dozen eggs and one's cracked. Well, the store's not going to sell it. They donate it. The other 11 are still good. So please don't feel any kind of embarrassment, shame, or you're not worthy or you don't deserve it because... I've had people comment, I'm not deserving to go to this. Why am I not deserving? My income is less than my rent. Okay. So, and I'm not choosing to live in a fancy house. You know, this is where I live and I, I certainly couldn't move. Rent's more expensive everywhere. And so, my income is low enough that I qualify for a family of three to go to this food bank, which I will leave the qualifications in the description of what each family member in our area, like if you have a family of one, family of two, and so on, your income levels. And so if you're under that, please, gosh, go get it. Go get the help you, that you need so that this food doesn't go to waste. Anyways, end of wrap. Okay. I just, so many people are like, you don't deserve it. Nobody just leave that for other more deserving. Who says I'm not deserving? I am deserving. My family needs to eat too. And then what we don't consume, I can gift to somebody else that's in need that doesn't have a way to get to the food bank, okay? All right, enough. Start with the ground beef. This is my all-time favorite. And I'll tell you what, I buy this. This is the one I personally buy. And it is not the cheapest meat, but it is the best tasting meat I've ever had. And this one just happens to be 96 lean, 4% fat. Mitch would prefer more fat in his meat, but not me. And see, this is why it's here, because nobody bought it, and it went past this date. I don't ever pay full price, though, y'all. I think it's like $7, and I wait till they put, like, a clearance sticker like this on them, and then I buy it. <laughs> so all the ones in my freezer that I might have, I have a clearance sticker on them. I never pay full price. All right, and then I for my other two beefs, because I got three beefs today. I was so blessed today that it was three beefs for a yellow card, and then the red card that my... Um, Cody's father, my ex-husband, his he got two beef. But so I chose this meat for me, and then my other meat I chose this oven roast. This is actually the first one I chose. I have round. That's my all-time favorite. Oh my gosh, look at that twenty-five eighty. Holy goodness! And then I saw this one. It was buried. What is it? It's a sirloin tip roast. Regular 31, marked down to 23, but it has string on it. I don't know what that means, but I think like if it's tied together with string, it must be good. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe it's not. Um, if y'all have any good recipes for this other than like crock pot, that's crock pot's about everything I do. But I may just have it in my freezer and wait till it gets cooler and then I could do something in the oven. So y'all let me know. But yeah, like this, you could slice it if you wanted and just make steak. All right, oh, almost fell over. That would not be good. You'd be getting a recording of the ceiling and hearing me cry in the background. Oh, I'm falling and I can't get up. That's no joke. I mean, I just have to crawl over to where there's something to pull me up. Okay, nobody wants to hear you ramble. Yes, I do. I'm talking to myself again. Okay, focus. I got my two chickens. So I picked this one for me. It was a boneless chicken breast. I got chicken breast for Cody. Um, it's going to be weird. You're going to hear me say Cody a lot because my daughter's name is Cody, but her father's name is Cody as well. So my daughter's name is Cody Jean, and her father's name is Cody. Okay. So, <clears throat> anyways, we both got chicken breast. And then, um, I don't know what I got him for his other chicken. I don't even know. Maybe he got one chicken, I think, actually. And then this one fell out of the freezer as I was putting this in my bag. And the guy jokingly goes, oh, you have to take it now. And I go, okay, I will. <laughs> because I like ground chicken. I like ground chicken and I like ground turkey. So that's what I chose for my ground turkey. Because I can mix this with hamburger or I can just use this in place of hamburger. And it's really good. Since I've had my um, gastric bypass and most recently lately, I struggle with like full meat. Um, and I don't know, even before, you could say it's because I don't have all my teeth. But even before, I mean, I haven't been without teeth for a long time. It's only been a, the last couple of years. 
but my bypass was almost 18 years ago, I struggled then as well. So ground meat is just easier for my uh, little tummy to digest, I guess. I don't know. But I still like the chicken and stuff. I just, I struggle. I eat a very small amount. But I got ground chicken, and then I got ground turkey, and then for my pork, I chose a ham. And this one, um, it's like a pressed and formed, it's all frozen. I gotta get it in the freezer. Hickory smoked farmland brand. I don't know if you guys have tried this, but it's so good. You can make, you slice it yourself. You can make it thick like ham steaks or thin for sandwiches. But we just, we really like the flavor of that one. That's the one we buy when we do buy them. And they're on sale sometimes. All right. <clears throat> That's all the meat. That's a lot of meat. That's like a month's worth of meat, if not more. So I'm so grateful for all that. And then I've got this box of pepperoni pizza garlic buttery crust 10 grams of protein i thought cody might like these and i love that you can make them in the air fryer or the microwave and they're just individual so when if she goes to dance again i'm not sure when we start that back up but she could take that if she wanted and then i picked up these little egg bites um i don't know why there's so many carbs that doesn't make sense if it's just eggs they must have put something else in it, but because it was just eggs, why is there carbs in it? Hmm, I don't know. If y'all know right off the top of your head why there's carbs in it, you just let me know. Because it should, if it's just eggs and meat, there shouldn't be any carbs, but that's what it is. I got three of these little stone fire three meat pizzas, 11 net carbs, 26 grams of protein, so those will be yummy for a low carb pizza snack whatever dinner dinner well it's not quite dinner it's 26 so you need a little bit of something else to go with it i got a pound of butter and i got this which i've never bought before i'm excited to try fritz Mo fritz fresh mozzarella i don't know one third ounce cherry size they look really good have you guys ever had fresh oh my gosh i swear i swear i can talk <laughs> Fresh mozzarella. I don't know if you just eat it or if it's a certain way or it's better. Does it have any instructions? You guys, comment below. I know some of y'all eat this regular. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so good. This is how you use it. Please tell me because I got no clue. I just know I like mozzarella. And then I got cantaloupe spears for Cody. Two things of on diced onions. Probably going to saute those in a little bit and make something yummy. I don't know what, but something. It just sounds good. Maybe I'll just eat onions. Goodness. And then this, I was going to say it's two pounds, but it's three pounds of cherries. They look so delicious. A little bunch of bananas. I got eggs. It was one per person, like per family. But they also had dessert, and my aunt was also shopping that day. And so um, I got a dessert and gave it to her, and she gave me her eggs. Because <laughs> I don't want the dessert, but I want the eggs. All right, I'm going to get all this stuff put away, and then I'll show you what else we got. All right, on to the non-refrigerated frozen items. Okay, we've got a keto-friendly chewy fudge brownie mix. And then this is perfect size of cheesecake. I'm assuming it's instant. Oh, it says add 8 ounces of cream cheese. But, and it comes with a pan. I thought Cody went like that. She liked cheesecake pretty much. Well, not pretty much. Hold up. She liked cheesecake last time we was at the Walmart. She wanted a little single serving. So I thought this might be fun to make a little cheesecake. And then um, three of the Pepsis. Remember I said it was one. And she said we could get a couple more. So that was so nice. And then I got two boxes of sugar-free Jello. So I can make some hot protein Jello. It's so hot. I don't even feel like eating I just want cold stuff. I got four of these Pediasure, one vitamin water, uh, acai, blueberry, pomegranate. That looks really refreshing. Being a crackers, a bottle of apple cider vinegar, certified organic, gluten free, raw, unfiltered. It says apple cider vinegar with mother. I don't even know what that means. What does it mean with mother? A jar of peanut butter, three bottles of water, three bags of this beans and a rice. Looks really yummy. I picked up a, 
bag of chickpea garbanzo beans. I really like these beans as a meal, a meat replacement, actually. Um, but I have plenty of meat, as you saw just a minute ago. So, but just for backup, and um, they're getting oh, there's little holes there. There's a texturization on the bag. You guys see that? That's so cool. All right. I got a can of beef ravioli and then a can of cheese ravioli. A thing of deviled ham spread. I'm not exactly sure what that is. I don't like the word deviled. I'm going to have to peel that label off. Just make it be ham spread. And then two cans of green beans. One can of chicken noodle soup with the little paw animal print on it. That looks fun. Got a box of Ritz Bits cheese crackers. I'm thinking those are good. It says no high fructose corn syrup, so that's a plus. One can of carrots. The can was dented, but it was the only one that was diced, and I thought I wanted them for stir-fry. And then I got these water chestnuts for also for stir-fry. And then one can of pulled pork. Two cans of chicken, two cans of roast beef. I've never had roast beef like that. Um, two cans of peaches, two cans of pears, two cans of diced potatoes, two cans of petite diced, well, petite diced and then regular diced, peeled tomatoes, and two cans of tomato sauce. Also, a bag of Cody's favorite, Fruity Pebbles. A uh, thing of Craven sandwich cookies. They look to me like Oreos. Okay, golden Oreos, generic. Then they have these ginormous cases of poise pads for um, extra absorbency. I, I don't know. And right at this moment, I don't need those, but you never know. And so it was one case for a family, so I grabbed one for our house because you just never know. And then um, two packs of feminine hygiene, one box of another feminine hygiene. <laughs> And then they had car fresheners, and this one is called Cozy Campfire. I'm excited to see what that smells like. Probably going to make me want sweet stuff. Probably going to smell like marshmallows and chocolate in my car now. <sighs> I don't know. And a bar of soap and a pack of paper towels. Oh, and these. So these were on the shelf. I had no idea what they were. And I asked the guy, what are these? And he's like, I don't know. Take them. Take them both. And I was like, okay. But I was looking at it, and it's actually to make your own cheese. I'm assuming to make feta cheese. So, um, it's way past its sell-by date. Keep, it, keep your fridge stocked with delicious fresh cheese made in your own kitchen. So, I'm thinking Mitch is going to think that's pretty cool. And maybe he'll make some cheese. He did make mozzarella once. So, we'll see. But, yeah. Alright, I'm going to get this put away. And I'll show you the rest of the items that we received today. Alright, guys. I got the two bags unpacked. Most of this was in one bag, and most of this is in the other. Both full of goodness. If I had to choose my favorite out of the two bags, I would definitely say it was this one because there was more, I don't know, more full-size items? <laughs> so all these full-size items, as opposed to this bag, which had a ton of the little teeny snack size. So maybe this is actually the better one. Cause these are like the perfect amount to raise a little blood sugar and it had gushers which cody loves but all right let's start over here so there was one two three four five six seven of these uh members mark fruit snacks just fruit flavored one hazel nuts in milk chocolate um gluten-free from chuckle love never heard of that one i mean i've got it before but i don't really shop for that item and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten Milky Way fun size. <sighs> I'm gonna have fun. No, I gotta be good. I'm trying to get back on track. I finally got the scale to go down. It's 192. We need to go down more, but maybe one Milky Way. Okay. And then a bag of these um, cinnamon bears, which I know Cody loves these, so I will probably just put them with his food stuff when he comes to pick them up. Even though he said I could have the stuff, I'm going to let him have those because I'm pretty sure he'll like those. And this is birthday cake instant oatmeal. Sounds very sweet. <laughs> Three of these little jiggle gels. I know Cody likes those. They're pretty fun. Have you guys ever seen these jiggle, jiggle gels? We don't buy them very often. Oh, that's my hand. We don't buy them very often, but they're pretty fun. 
And then um, we actually have a short on our family channel how you're supposed to eat these. So I'll try to leave a link in the description if you want to watch that video. It's pretty funny of how you're supposed to eat the jiggle gels. All right. And then uh, this box of Yum Earth Organic Jelly Beans. Peanut free. The, it doesn't have any of these allergies. No dairy, no soy, no eggs, no fish. Why would you have shellfish and jelly beans? But I don't know. Peanuts is free from all those allergens. That's pretty cool. We don't have those allergies, but nice that they make something like that. Three packs of beef ramen. That is not Cody's favorite. But here's what you do. If you get these at a food bank and you like chicken flavor, don't add the seasoning pouch. Just make the noodles and just add a little bit of beef. I mean, not beef. Holy cow. Chicken bullion, like from the seasoning that you have in your cupboard or if you buy it I buy a big jar from Sam's Club I gotta show you man I look a mess y'all I'm like tore up but it's been a long day so far so this is what I buy chicken bouillon so we just you get a little bit of that or sometimes we save the little chicken packets because we're thrifty like that and then because you don't need a whole packet anyways but yeah so I just buy that and you could add that if you didn't want beef flavoring and then you could save your beef packet for like uh, if you're making a beef roast or something a little extra anyways too much information one two three four five of these sweet and salty peanut chewy granola bars they're so soft well maybe they're just bendy they're probably not really soft they got nuts i'm gonna have to put dentures in or save those for someone else to eat because yeah all right and then we have one two three four, five, six, seven of these tropical flavored Sour Patch Kids. And then we have one, two, three regular Sour Patch Kids. And one, two, three of the watermelon. And we have one, two Gushers, which is Cody's favorite. And then one, two, three, four, five Swedish Fish, two Paydays. I, tell, I call this the candy bar that's good for you because it's got nuts, so it's obviously healthy, right? And then three Hershey bars. How many is here? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven Jolly Ranchers. Two little Kit Kats. They're really tiny, but delicious. <laughs> if you're eating carbs, if you're not, they're disgusting. <laughs> All right. And then one Toast Chi. What the heck? Did they forget some letters? Toast Chi. I think it's cheese cracker with peanut butter inside. I really like that one. But I, I never noticed it didn't say cheese before. Ah, how funny. All right, and this is Go Macro Kids. Never seen this before, but it looks really good. Four grams of protein, six grams of sugar, double chocolate brownie. I bet that's going to be amazing. Chewy and delicious. Double chocolate. Dark chocolate and nut chewy granola bars. Like a full box. These are full boxes. Holy cow. And then... um. Wait, what? Dark chocolate and nut. Chewy granola bars made with real fruit. Why is there fruit? Oh, what's the fruit? Maybe it's raisins. Yeah, it looks like it's raisins in there. Okay. And then this I've never seen before. Rocky Road Alani Protein Bar. 17 grams of protein. That looks delicious. All right, let's see where we at. Okay, cinnamon, almond, butter. Uh, biscuits with almond butter, so it's like a little cookie with almond butter. 14 grams of whole grain. Those look really good. Two of those. Three of these. I've really been liking these lately, and I know they're not low carb. Oh, oats and honey. Oats and honey, and then peanut butter. Mainly we buy the oats and honey because it's really good to crunch up on yogurt. But I bet the peanut butter is really good. Sweet and salty, chewy granola bar, peanut. It doesn't really have the brand. Four of these uh, Ritz Handy Snacks. These are real handy. <laughs> Look at that. Cheese and crackers. Cody loves those things. We got some little pretzel sticks that we took camping last time. So those will be fun. And then two Chips Ahoy Original. They're crumbled. So these might be good for on top of some ice cream or something. Two Pop-Tarts. Blueberry flavor. Well, a Pop-Tart with two in it. All right. Two little packs of Oreos, and then two things of Nutella and Go. I wonder who's going to claim these. Hmm. These are breadsticks, and these ones are pretzels. Both delicious. If you haven't tried it, you should. If you're 
lichen stuff like that. If you're trying to eat low carb, don't don't try it. Close your eyes. Close your eyes and don't look. All right. This I'm not sure because it was out of the box, but it looks like some kind of wheat wheat nut cracker. I'm excited to try it, honestly, because it looks really good. It looks it looks like wheat wheat nuts. As grainy as it is. If y'all know what this cracker is, please comment. I'm gonna wait to read comments if I open it, because I need to know. And then um, these are Tate's, Tiny Tate's Snickerdoodle Cookies. Oh, <laughs> those would be good like with some pudding or something. Yeah, look at peanut M&Ms. I guess nobody wants red, white, and blue after the 4th of July, but I do. I'll take it. I don't mind the colors. And then one, two, three, king size Kit Kats. Are you kidding me? This is all in one bag. Oh my gosh. I can imagine what's in all the other bags. Holy cow. And then two bags of these Nerds Gummy Clusters. Two of them. And they're the share pouch. So they're bigger than normal size. And then three of these Ritz Bits Cheese Crackers. Oh my gosh. So grateful. So blessed. And so tired because I gotta put all this stuff away. I might have to eat something while I'm putting it away just to give me the strength to finish the job. But yeah, I'm going to get this stuff put away, take a little rest, maybe we'll chat. And then if you want, I can, uh, maybe at the end here of my video, I'll show you what I got Cody. Just a quick glimpse. I'm not going to lay it all out because it's boxed up, but we can kind of look at it and see what I picked up for him today at the food bank. So you can kind of see very similar items, but different. All right, I'm going to get this stuff put away and I will see you guys in a minute. Peanut butter cracker jelly. Ugh. Peanut butter jelly. Mmm, so delicious. Just enough jelly. Not too crazy. Alright, I think I think that is good. Save the rest of that jelly for the rest of my crackers. Alright, let's show you what we got for Cody Jean's father. Cody. So I didn't put these in the fridge because they'll be fine. It's cool in here. A jar of peanut butter, peanut butter, and then he also got three pounds of cherries. Um, yeah. So there's those. And then I got him a half gallon of orange juice, a dozen eggs, a few of that uh, fresh mozzarella uh, fruit thing. Okay, I got this bacon breakfast burrito. Sorry, I was gonna see if I can move stuff to show you. Oh yeah, I got him this fruit platter. So it's a honeydew, pineapple, and cantaloupe. And I believe that is all that's in the fridge of his. All right, and then I got him two bunches of bananas, a cantaloupe, a thing of boom chicka pop, thing of cereal, a pack of cookies, a pack of croissants for his bread, some crackers, a cornbread mix, I don't know, some fruit, cans of fruit, sauce, tomato sauce, the cookies, some sugar-free jello, jam. I got him a couple of these beans and rice packages, um, this two-bite brownies. He also got that apple cider vinegar, vitamin water, a couple bottles of regular water. I'm trying to see what else is in here. Some diced tomatoes. Um, some feminine stuff for his wife. There's his Diet Pepsis down there. Um, let's see what else is in here. A couple cans of tuna fish. Some more tomatoes. More tuna. A couple cans of vegetable soup. A thing of roast beef. Um, I can't really move it. Some macaroni and spaghetti at the bottom there. Paper towels. Um, got him one of those air freshener car things as well. Um, some diced potatoes. What is this one? A can of chicken. And then this one is like a little ham. Um, and this is pulled pork. There's a lot of good stuff today there. Athena ravioli. Some cream of chicken soup. I think there was a couple of those. Um, chili with beans. Another cream of chicken. 
And then this uh, spice chickpea soup. I thought he might like that. Um, wow. I don't see his peanut butter. Oh, because it's upstairs in that bag. Duh. I was like, I know I got him peanut butter. But yeah. That's pretty much everything. I believe so. But yeah, hopefully that helps him out. But uh, I got all that for him. Alright guys, thanks so much for joining me and checking out my food haul today. This is one of my favorite food banks to go to because you can actually go in and shop. So you kind of feel almost normal even though you are needing assistance. You go in and you shop just like going to the grocery store. You never know what's going to be there. But there's always good stuff to choose from and I just, I always leave there feeling blessed and I feel good and, I, and, and, and you should feel good and if you need help, go get this food, okay? If you need help finding a food bank, please feel free to message me, um, leave a comment below with your information that I could message you on Facebook or email me. My email is in the about section. I may not get to it right away, but I will get to it and I will help you find a food bank near you guys. There's no reason to go without food. There's so much waste in this in this world. Um, so much food is wasted. So there's no reason to go without. That food is out there in many locations to just pick up and go get yours. And if you can get extra, get extra to help other people. That's what we love to do and um, yeah. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And yeah, be sure to like this video if you like it. <laughs> Alright guys, take care and I will see you in my next video.